Hi, this is Obble1975 and today I'm bringing you a gameplay using the best AR, well, best automatic AR in the game, the KN44. Now, the M8 for me is the best burst fire assault rifle and the best overall assault rifle, but in the rough and tumble world of automatic assault rifles, when you want to run in close and you want to compete with submachine guns at close range and have a bit of mid-range dominance, I think this gun is the gun to use. Now, this isn't the optimal setup with it because I hadn't got stock at this point. I'm using grip, uh, red dot, I can't even think what else. But when you get stock and grip and red dot, this thing is great. Now, the hip fire means that you can get away with not running quick draw, but if you want to unlock and get more attachments, you can always run quick draw as well. But the hip fire is pretty decent, the gun is pretty accurate. The gun is pretty potent. See the hit fire there? It's not bad at all. It's an all in all good rough and tumble run and gun gun. It doesn't work bad silence. It doesn't work bad in almost any situation. It's not the best thing in the world at outgunning people at really super long ranges. And there's a couple of times in this gameplay that I've left in where I try and pick someone off at super long range and eventually get taken out, even though I do get a couple of hit markers on them. It is, however, very effective at mid-range engagements, which are what 90% of your engagements in Black Ops 3 are. They're sort of mid-range. Let's face it, the way the maps are designed in Black Ops 3, it's very much short to medium-range engagements, cover-to-cover -cover combat, moving and shooting, using head glitches as you move around the map to take people out. And this gun is perfectly good for someone who wants to play a reasonably aggressive run and gun style with an assault rifle, which is how I like to play with an assault rifle. And like, as you can see, it's pretty decent at picking people off. I lose this gunfight, which is kind of a crucial one for streaks, which is kind of annoying, but you know, it's perfectly adequate at what you want it to do. You shouldn't be trying to do this, which is pick people off with window head glitches from that distance. It's not the best for that sort of thing. You kind of want an M8 for those sort of engagements. But as an automatic assault rifle goes, this is pretty damn accurate and pretty damn decent. And I like it. I enjoy using it. It's very reminiscent of the AK-47 from Black Ops 1. It's very fun to use. It's a decent gun and as far as I'm concerned, it's the best automatic assault rifle in the game. I do like the Havoc, the HVK, I get on very well with that. But this I can use comfortably without grip, I can use it without any attachments, I can use it plain. The HVK has to have grip, it has to have this, that and the other to work. And that's what lets it down, and the fact that it shreds through ammo and you definitely need scavenger if you're going to use that thing. The HVK needs the right attachments to work at all let alone dominate. So while I like the HVK, I think this is the better choice. So I think this is going to be my new MTAR, my go-to automatic assault rifle that I can run suppressed. And eventually when I finally prestiged it and unlock all the attachments again, damn prestiging weapons takes forever, I'm going to run this as my silenced run and gun assault rifle. I'm going to run the M8 as my non-silenced, you know, more serious assault rifle, the one I pull out if I want to decimate people at distance and want a bit more accuracy. This is a good fun gun to use when you're going to do a bit of pub stomping, when you're up against people that aren't the best, aren't super competitive and aren't using the best weapons in the game. I, I mean... It's either going to be this or the Razorback, but the Razorback is a bit too weak. And the Razorback is, after all, not an assault rifle, but a submachine gun. It's just a longer range submachine gun. And I think this is going to be that gun, you know, the proper silence gun. I think I was trying to rocket launch my teammate in the window. I should let him do it, to be honest, because that would just be funny. But, you know, like I say, this is going to be my MTAR replacement, the gun I go to, the gun I use 
when I want to get a pub stompy run and gun AR gameplay. And this gameplay wasn't too bad, I mean I died more, much more often than I would have liked, but overall it was an okay game. The final death is a bit of an embarrassment, but I'm going to leave it in because it's just quite funny. But overall I wasn't too unhappy with how the gun performed and how I played. There we go. Told you it was embarrassing. I did not see that guy in that dark corner. That is a really hideous dark corner on top of that table. But there we go, that's the gameplay done. And like I say, don't take my word for it. I look around on YouTube, see what people are getting scores with. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the best automatic assault rifle in the game. And the one I'm going to be using mostly. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching.